Star Trek – New Earth is a series of interlinked novels inspired by Gene Roddenberry's original pitch for Star Trek – Wagon Train to the Stars. Created by John J. Ordover, the novels follow the crew of the Enterprise as they lead a colonial expedition into deep space, and explore the challenges they face at keeping the peace in a hostile region. The novels occur during the second five-year mission. Between the episode, Turnabout Intruder, and Star Trek, The Motion Picture. The series was intended to be the springboard for a new book line similar to Star Trek, New Frontier, called Star Trek, Challenger. Topic. Production John J. Ordover told Jeff Ayers, in Voyages of Imagination 2006, the concept for New Earth originated as a personal reaction to Voyager. He believed there was no stakes for those characters, no emotional tie to the region that ship was passing through. Ordover asked, what if you went outside the known galaxy or outside the common area to find a new colony and you were assigned to stay there and protect them for a while? His answer was that was the concept for New Earth. Topic. Wagon Train to the Stars 2000. Diane Carey also told Ayers that Ordover wanted a new captain, new ship, new crew, and new situation, bringing Star Trek back to the original concept of being out there with limited contact, essentially in a Wild West town and having to fake it, hacking our way to civilization the hard way. Carey and her husband, Greg Broder, developed the series concept. Carey wrote the first and sixth novels in the succession. Topic. Bell Terre 2000 Bell Terre, the second novel, was to be written by Carey. However, Ordover recruited Dean Wesley Smith to complete the novel based on Carey's outline. Topic. Rough Trails 2000 Rough Trails, co-written by Julia Eckler and Karen Rose Cherconi as L.A. Graf, was inspired by the Johnstown Flood. Topic. The Flaming Arrow 2000 Jerry Olshan co-wrote The Flaming Arrow, with his wife Kathy. They found the experience of writing a multi-author series difficult, saying, it felt like we were building a bridge between two shores that were both shrouded in fog, while trolls were busy knocking out the supports from under us. The last-minute changes kept rolling in, so we did the only prudent thing we could do, we finished our book first so everybody else would have to follow our lead from then on. Topic. Thin Air 2000 Dean Wesley Smith told Ayers, a fun idea in that one, foam covering a planet as a way to attack it. I had a blast. Topic. Challenger 2000 The final entry, Challenger, was written as a possible introduction to a new book series. The namesake flagship was named in honor of the Space Shuttle Challenger by Ordover. Topic. Chainmail 2001 Chainmail, by Diane Carey, is a direct sequel to Challenger, and includes several elements from other New Earth novels. Chainmail was published as a Star Trek, Challenger novel, a new flagship concept series similar to New Frontier by Peter David. Only one Challenger novel has been published, fansites, such as Memory Alpha, catalog Chainmail as the seventh book in the New Earth series. However, it is the second novel of the Gateways 2001 crossover series. Topic. Reception. Michelle Green of Little Review wrote, New Earth was 
fun to read, with several compelling plots unfolding at once, and the original Enterprise crew having a lot of fun in between heroics. Jeff Millward commented Challenger was a pretty good ending to an extremely long series. However, his wish was that nobody writes a story that spans six novels again. After offering less enthusiastic reviews for the previous books in the series, Randall Landers of Orion Press praised Carey's abilities as a storyteller, in Challenger. But, he noted, Carey's purple prose limited the appeal of the novel. Topic. Novels The novels were originally published as Star Trek books 89-94. Topic. Related novels Topic. Gateways 2001. Two entries of the Gateways crossover series include characters and settings from New Earth. Topic. See also List of Star Trek novels Star Trek – New Frontier